before we start on risk management how many of you do risk management formally like how many of you really you make a risk register properly how many of you give risk rating to the project so fact those processes are in place that's it if you really don't have i know you cannot change the organization easily but it's a good idea to make that for yourself so that you are aware of where your attention should be okay, having said that let's go to risk management uh before we go to the processes there are certain terms that i want you to know well or be clear about how do we define risk what is the risk what do you mean by risk Unknown <coughs> event. Take it as with the known uh, risk, uh, known hazards in there, which may hamper the project. project. Which, which may hamper the projects. Okay, something that might hamper the project. Something that percent. if triggers might hamper the project. Is it that? Uh, is it this that you are saying? Something if if it happens might impact the project. Okay, look, listen to my words carefully. Okay, not I am saying like don't hear them. Listen to them. Something, if it happens, might impact the project, project objectives. That's risk. So, a strike delays procurement is going to impact my schedule. That's a risk. Okay, my customer. is giving me bonus to finish the project early is it a risk it is a risk if you suddenly say like okay if you said that you you will get a bonus if you finish two weeks early what was our definition something if it happens so if i can finish the project two weeks earlier the impact is bonus Yes. Did I say that the impact is negative? No. So P and I defines risks like impact to project by uncertain events. It can be positive impact. It can be negative impact. Opportunities. So opportunities and threats both are risks. So positive risks are opportunities. Negative risks are threats. you identify them in the same way and interact with them with the way that you choose so there are how many six processes so we need to run through them the first is plan risk management you know this process well only thing is you will see a lot of inputs here because from all the areas you need to find out how you are going to deal with the risks what are your choice reaction to risk what do you usually do about certain risks what is going to be your risk budget if you need more money if you need more subject matter expertise how you are going to handle that is a part of plan risk management identify risks is find out if your object is getting any ob objective of the project is getting any impact if it is getting any impact it's a risk if it triggers its impact there is there will be an impact risk identified document that in the risk register that's your identification of this the second process once 100 risks you have identified can you tackle all the 100 risks at a time how do you tackle them chronologically or as per the importance priority right so setting risk priority or rating the risk is the next process qualitative analysis so each risk is analyzed for quality then you decide <coughs> what is your priority then one question uh one one side you are saying that uh, uncertain, uncertain uncertain event which happens which we have not identified no i didn't say that uncertain event you are not sure whether the strike will happen or you have a gut feel 
try see th in this area let's say you you were talking about labor oriented um, projects mm -hmm. okay so you have an idea that in past 6 months there have been many strikes so yes strikes can happen if they happen there's a problem for me sure. but it's not that in these 6 months the strikes will happen it, they can happen okay. so you have identified that this is a risk but you are not sure that they will happen it's not in your control to make it happen okay. so once you have all the 100 risks you analyze them you rate them now you have to look at see all the 100 risks trigger what will happen to my schedule what will happen to my budget not necessarily all the 100 will trigger but if many of them most of them trigger what happens to my basic three objectives cost time cost so in other words what are you analyzing how risky your project is there are 100 risks so how they impact your total project so that is the next process quantitative analysis you are quantifying the risk to cost the risk to time the risk to scope once you have that in place or parallelly actually it's not in sequence parallelly when you have identified risks you will start planning how you will react to those risks how you will manage those risks many times in this context we use the term mitigate mitigate has a certain meaning here that's why I'm trying to avoid it as far as possible we'll uh, discuss that and go to that plan this uh, response that means plan this response so control risk is checking your 11.1 and 11.5 your risk management plan your risk response plan and checking if your actions are as per the plan or not if not why not and what else you do that's the last process controlling risk